mid spring here in Canada. Well, I'm in southern Ontario, Canada. Um, it hasn't been a kind spring so far, but this little video here is a little 101 on gardening, setting up the garden. And one of the things I want to talk about first of all is planning your garden. And there's several things to planning the garden. For instance, here we had a dead space before with a bunch of gravel and stuff like that there, but we removed it. Well, most of it I used to backfill down the back, down to level off back there. But what we're trying to do is to sort of, as you can see, the yard isn't all that big. We need some green space, a little space there for my fire and stuff like that. A little dining area <clears throat> for when I grill and do stuff like that. But we're trying to maximize the amount of space we can use for gardening. So the paste that was unused here, it's now going to be used for gardening. <clears throat> And if you're doing container gardening, that's a great way. If you don't have too much space, you can see I have some containers here and I usually have more of them. This is a big cherry tree. The stump that you're seeing there, that used to be a pear tree, but I replaced it with a cherry tree. And all I'm doing now <clears throat> at this point is sort of digging up the dirt, um, removing any sort of weeds and stuff like that and um, backfilling it with some triple mix. And the triple mix is sort of gonna revitalize the soil because year after year, you gotta start back putting back resources into the soil. Back here is where we planted garlic last fall and it's, it's doing really good, except you see some yellow leaves. And that's because the neighbor has a cedar there and it's coming all the way over and it's, it's shady back there, but we should get quite a bit more. And that is the second tip. So maximize the use of space that you have when planting your garden. And the second tip is Plan the garden in such a way that you're maximizing the areas where there's full sun versus part shade. And what I mean is when you're choosing plants to plant, choose plants. So if you have a shady area, we didn't really think this out all the way through, but um, <clears throat> if you have a shady area, you'll want to choose plants for that specific area, something that doesn't need full sun <clears throat> over here. This entire thing here gets all day sun. So <clears throat> I keep having to clear my throat because my allergies have been acting up this year quite a bit. And then plant in the garden. I let my little retreat area, if you guys recall, last year I had one chair. We made it bigger and we have a second chair with a footstool now. Back here is usually where I do my herb garden. And that is, again, in planning, what I did was I tried to separate things. So I know when I'm cooking and I want my herbs, I can come straight down here and grab my herbs. So in planning, we looked at uh, maximizing the space, choosing the right plants, um, specifically if there's shade and stuff like that, and try your best to put plants which will go together, um, sort of um, grow in harmony. So my herbs are gonna be here I can't remember where I stopped off there. I started coughing and I had to stop recording, but one of the other things I forgot to mention, I like, this is gonna be all vegetable garden all the way down, but I like breaking it up with some flowers. So in early spring, you'll see tulips come up. Then I have some other like uh, lambs here. I've got a lily over there. We've got um, some hostas, some peony over there. And, and it's gonna have some color in between the vegetables as well. We've got a a clematis that climbs the fence over there and then <clears throat> you can see the window box there i used to plant flowers there more window boxes and stuff like that and i have all my plants here and what i usually do is i make a list of the plants that i would like to plant i plant of my garden in such a way so we've got i think eight different varieties of peppers in there we've got some malabar spinach um a couple tomatoes some um some carrots. Here we got pimento pepper. We've got wee 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 pepper. One herb there. Basil. And what I do is then I consider what I have and how much room I have. And the two of them got to work out together, right? Because you don't want to overspend and buy plants that you can't plant. And let's show you over here. Oh, well, here we go. <clears throat> These are some seeds I bought, brought back with me. And that is a seam, and we've got Bodhi in there coming up pretty soon. I'm, I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough to enough time to get those out. 
doing a lot of things, and this is the dirt that I bought back here. <clears throat> My throat is just killing me tonight, man. And this is a triple mix here, so. I gotta move all that dirt. About a yard and a half, I think it is. That's being backfilled the entire back. This area here, if you guys recall, I used to have this as my herb box. So when I come out the side door here, straight get my herbs here. But this year I'm thinking, I'm gonna go and try carrots for the first time. I'm doing an heirloom carrot. Got that smoker, just waiting for things. Hey, look at the little chipmunk, look at the little. Caught him eating my, uh, my cherries last year, you know. You've also got to consider, so we got sunlight. We spoke about sunlight revitalizing the dirt. And um, I don't use any chemicals at all. I don't use any fertilizers. I don't, any sort of uh, pesticides and stuff like that. But you want to make sure you've got good drainage. Make sure your soil is drained properly. The far corner there, it isn't drained properly. And that's why you've seen the yellow leaves on the garlic. But it's one of those things. The other thing I would recommend doing is doing a pH test of your, so of your soil as well too. So you'll know how acidic it is and if you need to, to add anything to it to help balance off the um, acidity. In choosing plants, besides how much sunlight it gets, the type of drainage and stuff like that, you also want to try and plan um, how it grows. For instance, last year on this sort of trellis here, I had some bitter melon that went up and it went all over the trellis there and we got tons of bitter melon or corally. This year, the goal is to plant um, Bodhi and same, which is, this is a bean, and have it climb along the fence, the neighbor's fence here, all the way down. So again, I'm maximizing space, small amount of space, but I'm trying to, to make great use out of it, right? And I guess by extension, the whole backyard, should be broken up into zones that's that's what i'm saying we have the, the dining table here i'm getting a sort of a patio set for here um a conversation piece and like a uh a couch and a couple of chairs we're gonna have the garden all here we have that little retreat area down there and then my smoker is on wheels so we can pull it out in the nighttime grab a couple chairs we light a fire like a wood burning fire in this stove here and you can i actually cook on here as well too but it warms you up nice on those cool nights when it's about 15, 9, 10 degrees Celsius. Zones, I'm big on zones as well too. And I guess the final tip is when you're planting, plant things that you will always have something coming in. So in early spring, you may have strawberries and have strawberry plants here. And this is some shadow benny I just planted. Um, so you always have something to reap in in the in the garden the other thing i would recommend so you can start off with greens like lettuces and stuff like that that usually comes in early and then you have like the the sweet potato and everything which um comes in late you have tomatoes and every cucumber and everything that comes in after same with flowers always wanted like a little bit of color in here i didn't have time this year to put in i took out all the um the tulips which was in this garden here because what usually what i do i have tulips all the way up and um, by the time it comes around time to plant vegetables, they're already gone. So then I, I'm able to plant vegetables. But this year, um, last fall, I was busy. I was traveling quite a bit, so I didn't have time to put in any tulips. And that's just some seeds from a few years ago when I first planted that uh, we didn't dig out properly. So I just finished off the sort of herb garden area here. So we got that basil I put in. I've got some lemongrass, some uh, rosemary, parsley, oregano, and thyme that came back last year. But I just want to finish finish off part one of this video by saying you also want to check which zone that you're in, because only certain plants can survive in certain zones. And if you live in North America or Europe, you will know what I'm talking about. In the Caribbean, we don't necessarily have zones, but it depends on how soon winter comes in, frost, all those different things so you may want to check your zone as well um chris here caribbeanpod.com always a pleasure to have you guys here with me part one look out for part two later on in the season this will be a three-part series and i highly encourage you to watch it if you want to get that 
awesome garden that you always see me posting. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.